In this video, we'll write the balanced molecular and net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus BaCl2, magnesium sulfate and barium chloride. So the first thing we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It turns out that this is already balanced, so we don't need to do anything to this equation. It's balanced. Next, we have the states here. We have aqueous. These three are aqueous. And then we have a solid. So because this is a solid, these two react. This solid will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube that you're doing the reaction in. So we have our states here. The AQ means dissolved in water. It's aqueous, so these are the soluble compounds. They're dissolved. So let's split these up into their ions. Magnesium's in group two on the periodic table. It has a two plus charge. And then the sulfate ion, SO4 minus, that has a two minus charge. Barium, two plus. The chloride ion, that's just a minus. And then we have our two plus, a minus one. And then we don't need to write the charges for this. This isn't soluble. It's a solid. It's going to stay together. So we have our soluble compounds and their charges. Now we can write the complete ionic equation. And that'll look like this. Mg2 plus, and I won't write aqueous after each one right now. We'll do that at the end. Plus the SO4 minus, 2 minus, plus Ba2 plus, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. And that's going to give us our Mg2 plus plus we have the chloride ion, Cl minus, and the barium sulfate, BaSO4, which stays together. So this is our complete ionic equation. We do need to take into account the coefficients and the subscripts. The coefficients are all one, so we don't need to worry about that. But the subscripts, we have a two for this chlorine here. So that means we need to put a coefficient of two in front of the chloride ion. And then on this side as well, the product, we have the two in front of the Cl. So this gives us the complete ionic equation. We can now cross out the spectator ions, the things that are the same on both sides. So we have Mg2 plus here, cross it out. Two chloride ions, cross them out. And everything else is different. We use that to write the net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus BaCl2. That'll look like this. And this is the net ionic equation for magnesium sulfate plus barium chloride. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.